everyone, how's it going? So we're back out in the garage today. Yesterday, uh, not yesterday for you guys, but yesterday for me, I finished the LED swap part two. So today I'm going to install the HID kit. This kit I also got from the Retrofit source, not sponsored by them or anything. I just believe in high quality products and that's what these are. So this is the kit I got. It is a 35 watt. This is a direct plug and play kit. You've got the HD harness, the bulbs. Um, I bought a capacitor link just in case. I didn't want to deal with any flickering or anything like that. I've got the headlight harness and then the igniters. So the nice thing about this kit is that the, the ballast and igniters are separate. So if the igniter goes out, you know, I can quick swap them and troubleshoot or replace one part if I need to. Very high quality kit. I am super excited to put this in. I've been waiting for months. I've had these since about Christmas um, and I'm just now getting around to it in May. So uh, step one, or first thing I did quick, I did just cut holes in the headlight caps. Very easy to cut through. The headlight harness will actually fill that hole so we don't have to worry about moisture getting inside. I will probably RTV around that, you know, extra insurance. Make sure we are good. But yeah, I'm gonna get some things uh, laid out, figured out. I know where I'm putting the ballast. I'll show you guys that. Hopefully everything reaches. But yeah, should be a fun day. All right guys, so got one side all hooked up. Um, I kind of routed the harness. Let's go through quick. I'll show you how I did that. Right here is where I mounted the, the relays. Uh, kept them close to the fuse box. Also because I had to use the positive terminal here for the battery positive for the relays. There's uh, about five wires coming out of the relays. Uh, you got battery positive, battery negative. You've got the left ballast, the right ballast, and then you've got the OEM input. So I ran the positive to the battery terminal right there. You can kind of see these two wires right here. This is the negative and the left side ballast, in my case. Ran them underneath the radiator supports, kind of over this way. There we've got the negative, so battery negative there. Haven't hooked up this side yet, so this is the ballast. Um, back over here, we had the other side ballast and then the input. So nothing is really finished right now, but we've got our rat's nest of wires right down here. Um, I'm gonna be mounting the ballast right up here underneath the headlight. You can kind of see. So we've got the ballast, we've got the individual igniter. We've got four wires coming out of the headlamp. So we've got the OEM input and then the two, the power and ground for the HID bulb. So the power and ground for the bulb are coming into the igniter here. And the other two wires, the orange and the black, are going to the OEM input. So let's do just a quick comparison from stock to HID. So here on this side, you can see we've got the LED bulbs we put in yesterday and the stock low beam. You know, it's relatively bright, much brighter than my old housings just because these ones are much cleaner, much nicer. But then on this side, you can see how nice it looks once everything matches. I will probably have to adjust the headlights tonight but so much brighter on this side than that side. And it looks very, very nice. The color match between all the bulbs is very good. They're all rated at like 6,000 K. So really bright white, not really any blue, which is exactly what I was going for. 
I usually like the warm white, but I think I actually, I really like the HIDs. I'm really excited to drive with them tonight. I get the rest of that mounted, wrapped up, get the other side down and we're good to go. So the HID kit is all done, all in, um, all buttoned up, all ready to go. I understand this is a very, very short video, but honestly, I think this is gonna be better for you guys. There's not a whole lot to cover as far as the kit goes or how to put it in. There's things all on, you know, all over the internet. The only thing that's a little different was the kit that I used and where I mounted things. So, you know, again, right there is where I mounted the relays. Ran the wires across the radiator. Ground over here, power over there. Um, everything fits perfect. I mounted the ballasts right underneath the headlights with some very strong double-sided tape. It's actually more like a Velcro. And then I just zip tied everything together. Um, everything's reversible, you know. Very, very short video. Hopefully very easy for you guys to follow and understand. Um, the kit I used is very nice, very bright. Matches the rest of the lights I put in this week. So I am super excited to get out and drive it tonight. If you enjoyed the video or if you've got any questions, uh, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer anything that you want to know. So that should wrap up all of our lighting videos. I'm going to finish up doing some other maintenance stuff on the car. But yeah, that should be good. All right, guys. Have a good week.